Okay, we're beginning the island loop hike. So this will be a whole bunch of just short little videos. And from this point, I'll zoom in. You can see some of the cave dwellings below and up at the top there from this angle. Okay, I'm just a little bit lower than where I was a moment ago. This is just uh, going back and forth. You can see the next part of the trail below me and then even the loop down there in the center. So, oh, there's the rest of our crew heading down right there. Hey, there's a house over there, Richard. Oh, cool. Let's see, zoom in. Very neat. Okay, so now. Hey, Richard, how did Get that. I'm thinking. Okay, so a whole bunch more. And I wonder if they have a bunch of uh, the, where they ground their acorns and stuff. No. Okay, the so we gotta <laughs> zoom in. We got some more over here. Hey. Hi. Love the textures of that. I think it's sandstone. I haven't researched it. Cool. Very cool. Perfect shelter. Oh, cool. I bet it was cold though. Yeah, and I probably there's times it was hot, but I bet, oh, look, this is like just, oh, oh, this is neat effect on the camera. It's like, okay. Yeah, so what do they do? This was their, yeah, how yeah, cool. Little benches or whatever, yeah. And that rumbling of the thunderstorms behind us is pretty cool, too. All right, so there's looking off towards the west northwest. And, um, Went over here towards the south. I talked about in the guides how the different types of environments on the sunward side and the shady side. And then look at that beautiful piece of artwork. Wow, what a beautiful place to live. I, I'm, I'm sure that when they lived here, it was just a place to, it was just, it was just your place and struggled to survive, but wow. sandstone here. This eroded out above us and below us is limestone. Onward. Something else, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Slug. Yeah. So the limestone across the way, apparently when that was laid down, those different layers tilted different ways um, in accordance with the prevailing winds at the time that that section of the rock was laid down. So that's cool, that little opening there, it's where they'd let the, you know, the, like basically a chimney, yeah. Pretty neat. Well, this would sort of be the view looking out. Uh, this wall's broken down, but imagine coming out of your little opening here every day and seeing that. That's waving at your neighbors across the chair. yeah.
Okay, mm -hmm. so Don spotted this little debris pile, making it look kind of like a termite mound, making maybe a rodent hostel. Okay, we're on the dry side. And um, look at those big slabs that have fallen off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, more right across. What a beautiful place. Well, we've almost come full circle. Up above us there is the visitor center. If I misspoke earlier, sorry. Oh, now we get to go back upstairs. Fun. But uh, lots, lots of dwellings. Apparently, in the early 1800s and late 1800s, taking uh, souvenirs from places like this was encouraged. Thank God the Relics Act stopped that. Would you guys know? Do these dwellings keep going all the way down the valley, or they just kind of stop right around here? No, they keep going. So and then we're back up to the... down there, there, there were dwellings down there. Yeah.